Okay, this is the second uh, video for creating this part. The last one I did a lot of uh, dialogue to go through every particular part. This one I'm just going to go ahead and create the part. So here is the back part, which is 4x4x2. Four by four by so collect, connecting on the front, the front, the right plane, creating my rectangle. Again, using my dimensions that are multiplied by 400. So this one is 400. This one becomes 200. This one becomes 400. And say done. And come over here to the extrude bar. Coming up here on the dashboard, typing in 200 and selecting done. Now I want to chamfer the top parts, so I come down here to the chamfer tool, selecting this edge, holding the control key down, selecting this edge, and again the dimension here is 100. Okay, so now I want to create the cylinder, which is this part here. So I'm going to sketch on the center plane, and I want to create a circle over here and an inner circle, and I'll say that I'm done. So this distance here has to be 150. I'm selecting from the back surface now is where it's uh, the default reference plane was. So I'll make that 400. This distance here is 300, and the inner diameter is 200. So again, saying that I'm done. And I will extrude it. We will go to either side of the plane and for a total distance of 400. And we'll say that we're done. Now again, I want to hide some of these planes. And my default coordinate system because I really don't need them for the rest of the creation of the part. And <coughs> I want to go into my wireframe view. So then I'm going to sketch onto this surface. I'm going to create my rectangle. And I'm going to come over here to my constraints. And I'm going to let this top edge be coincident with the tangent edge of the cylinder surface. And I'm going to let this one be coincident with, again, I want to make sure I grab the cylinder and not the uh, bottom edge, so this is the one I want. I'll say OK. And then I'm going to come in here and change my dimensions to let this be 200. This dimension here will be 100. And I'll say that I'm done. And now I want to do the extrude, but in this case I want to extrude out to a selected surface. And the surface I'm going to select is this one and we'll say that we're done already and that is my finished part so that's doing it the quick way